In a world where gods walk the night sky and their champions battle evil, an unlikely group of individuals find themselves in a fight to save it, coming from the far corners of the unforgiving land of Theros, they find themselves divinely linked. They have been sent on a journey to save Theros from impending destruction. Ezrin Thule Nightshade, a Triton Nyxborn artificer, with her trusty constructs, Mr. Clickety Clack and Dr. Calamario. Hari, a Leonin barbarian from the northern Oreskos Valley. She has turned her back on the gods and champions no one but her people. Eunomenos, a satyr wizard, orphaned at a young age with his sister Euterpe, seeks to understand the gods and their true nature. Lucky Lala, a druid satyr of the School of Ale, wanders the vastness of Theros with awe and amazement. Rexenor of Miletus, a powerful wizard and friend of Dionuminos. He's a devout follower of the gods and is forever driven to seek their divine favor and knowledge. Theodore, a minotaur bard from Skophos, has chosen to seek the gods' knowledge and alienate themselves from their own warlike people. Kalitia, a centaur paladin, avenging the raids that have destroyed her tribal homelands. Together, these champions are the Asteronauts. All right. No, not at this point. But yeah, man, that was that. a real bad, bad episode. They yeah. took the train to Venice? I didn't really understand that part. <laughs> yeah, from Oxford, England to Venice, Italy. Direct line. <laughs> it didn't make sense. There we go. All right, we're What live. are you guys talking about? The show Endeavor. Oh, Endeavor. Yep. And then they go to what they do in the shadows. Oh man, the last one was I've okay. I've seen the most recent one. It was all right. I loved the one before it, the house one. Andy hasn't seen them all yet. But the house the one house was one. excellent and has the best Matt Berry line I've ever heard. You and Andy don't like sit down and watch shows together. You like watch it in your own time. That's so well, I end up watching shows like when I'm getting ready in the morning uh, for work because Tristan hangs out with me all night, every oh, yeah. night. So I don't end up getting to watch any TV at night. <laughs> yeah. Could ruin everything. Yeah. So True. it was like, okay, well, we're never going to watch it. We were watching it together, but then we just never end up watching together. So. Um, we just watched today's episode of um, Lower Decks. We haven't seen today's, but last week's was really good. This week's, so good. They mm -hmm. played the equivalent of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Nice. Are we I'm waiting? I'm so disappointed in the holodeck programs. It's like you could be doing the best D and D game ever, and you're hanging out with Socrates. They are. That's the equivalent, right? They're yeah. playing Robin Hood. <laughs> I am not a merry man. I am not a merry man. Roll for merry man. Are we waiting for Amber, or do we want to get started? Uh, I think that, judging by the the reactions, that Charlotte is adamant that she did not do that. Okay. Well, let's uh, put Jason into the list here. Don't roll for initiative. Don't roll. Do I need to roll for initiative? Don't roll. Because we're in the middle of combat. So keep oh, yeah. where you're at. <laughs> I can't I, see it, Jason. Refresh. Yep. There he is. Ooh, in the dark room. Dark room. Now I can't see it. Oh, there she is. Serious. Hey, Jay. Gang's hey, off. I'm rolling for initiative. Just so no, know. no. You do it and you die. You're booted. You're already, you're already in there. Oh, yeah, right. we're all in there. You're right before Rex North. Oh, okay. Yep. So we have the NPCs, and we have Tari, Theodore, Ezrin, Dinuminos, Rex North, and then Lucky. So. Lala, the light yeah. <laughs> All right, are we? I know. Are we about ready? 
alliteration. It, it is true. it is a fantasy campaign. You pick up more titles as you go. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> We're becoming, Bell, we're becoming Bellasar's CV. <laughs> oh, man. I miss that guy. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> All right, so let's let's get started. Let's do the, do the intro. Um, All right, intro time. Welcome back to Theros Champion the Gods, where you all play as champions of the gods. And... Except for Tari, who doesn't care about the gods, as we as we say in the biz. And last time we all played, you came across a new culture high in the and I'm trying to load up uh, the Oranaid Mountains on your way to the Phoenix Stairs, where there were the kind of Norseman Viking ish type of village called Dronga Land, and you rescued them from a bunch of spiders, and they gave you a little bit of hints and tips of like there's there be there be dragons or monsters or giant creatures up towards the Phoenix stairs. And after drinking and carrying on with them for a good night, um perhaps uh Cats rule, dragons drool, and dragons. That's pretty much what it was. And as you were uh, trekking along for days up the Phoenix stairs, you came across a spider's den. And this giant shelob of a spider came crawling out. And you are in the middle of combat, uh, doing some doing some work on this poor creature that did nothing to you all clearly uh was just hanging out in its hidey hidey hole and uh in that moment uh, before we ended some random spiders appeared and it was what's that said she blocked our path she had right yeah screw her she's like hey man pay the toll and he didn't want to pay the toll uh a number of you are stuck in the sticky yucky spider web and I got to pull up her stamp block. Just give me a quick second. Uh, bleh. There we go. All right. <laughs> um, and the spiders showed up that and then it is her turn. So first of all, she is in this cloud of daggers and these take some damage from that. So I'll uh, miss you. Do you know, hmm? you want to roll for your daggers? Oh, yeah. Um, I daggers, you say? Daggers, I say. What is that? 44? I can't remember. Uh, um, Maybe. 44. Did I? Sounds about right. Did I do that at a higher level, though? Uh, you could have, but you didn't. I thought I did it at second or the next level up. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'm trying to see where else you might have rolled. Uh, Dia Nomos cast Cloud of Daggers at third level. Yeah, so 64. 64, bro. Come on, bro. God dang it. It's just high enough. They can't do it easily. And she is down two uh, legendary actions, I believe. That's true, yes. All right, so 16 from the daggers. Solid hit. Uh, she's, looking, yeah, she's looking pretty rough at this point. Uh, we do have Mr. Clay to Clack, who is toast. We have Tari, Lucky, and Dr. Calamario, and Ezra, and stuck in this spider web of disease and filth. Um, this hairy web of hair actually as it's called and th this thing is going to attack somebody let's see who's gonna attack Tari it's gonna go after Tari with a bite and does it get advantage Tari might have broken free I don't think she did did you I don't think it's been your turn yet to break three break free. uh she tried to break free and couldn't then attack Okay, that's right. Um, so no, it does not get advantage on you. 
All right, so it's gonna try biting at you. <laughs> and 17, I presume that misses. Um, we're, in, we're not muted. Sorry. Um, I don't know if I have my uh, shield out. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. do. So that's 18. So. Okay, so that misses. And then it's gonna attack you with its claws. I can't think of a better time to have a shield out then. <laughs> yeah, seriously. 26, I presume. By a spider? Hits. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Okay, and you take 20 slashing, which would be 10. What? Man. I, I take it that since Dr. Calamario's caught in this web, the deflect doesn't work. Is that correct? Remind Which would disadvantage on her attacking something else when he's within five foot. Um, five foot of the creature it's attacking? If Dr. Calamario is within five foot of that creature and it attacks someone other than him, then it causes disadvantage on their attack. Ooh, wow. I mean, it should still um well so it's restrained so i would say yeah it doesn't quite work yeah that's kind of what i was thinking since it's restrained maybe let me see something real quick um here i'll this is the description it's a reaction so it only works once okay hold on Okay, so it does get advantage on you because you are restrained. Um, that would just be a straight roll, then. Yeah, so I'll give it just a straight roll. So we're, we're playing it even. All right, so then it's going to attack Tari with a second set of claws. Uh, I'm going to say, Tari, duck, and give it a natural five. <laughs> Good, because I got wow. a 28. All right. I still, have, I still have a portrait. I've been flying. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Thank Nick. <laughs> Don't thank me. Thank Crufix. All right. And the other spiders just appeared, so they don't have their turn quite just yet. Tara, you are up next. Right. I want to try to get out of this sticky web. Okay. You can do a dexterity saving throw. So let's see. Uh, dexterity. Yeah. Oh. I've been listening to. Are you a... sure I can't do strength? It says a creature can use action to make a uh, DC twenty one strength check. Sorry. Strength check. Yep. Yep. I've been listening to a Pathfinder podcast for two yep. weeks. So oh. <laughs> my brain's sorry. A I didn't mean jumbled. to do it. You have advantage because you are advantage because you're you raging. Are raging. Uh, yeah, but it's still. I mean, it rolled it twice, so it's a an open and nope. Man. All right. Uh, um, you want to try hitting it once with disadvantage? Yeah. Okay. With disadvantage? Uh, well, so it'd be straight up just once. Just straight up? Yep. Okay. 13 uh, blah, 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 misses, unfortunately. Fine. Fine. Anything else you want to do in your turn? I guess not. Okay. Theodore. Well, yeah, I can do. Yeah, Theodore, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, is the web a. Um, uh, it's not a magical effect, is it? Uh, you can do either an arcana or a nature check. I'll do that. Both are bad. I thought we looked this up, but I don't remember. What... Nine. Ignore me. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Tough to tell. <laughs> I don't know. It's like magic or concrete or something. Yeah. It's like a magic spell or something. There's like some kind of web. Some kind of bullshit. Uh, whew, I don't really want to be bitten by a spider, really. Yeah. That seems bad. Spiders are bad. Um, Tell you what. I'm going to do a healing word. Okay. On. Let's say Tari. You heal 10. And you can use your reaction to make an attack. Ooh. That's more like it. 27 does hit. And 16 damage. That's pretty cool. decent. I'm going to... I'm then going to go... Uh, I guess do my, my song of irritating it and lower its next roll 
by get out of the way, turn order. It lowered its next roll by one. Oh. Okay. Eh. Well, All right. I'm not moving. I don't want to get in that hair goop again. Okay. That's my turn. That's your turn. Ezrin, you are up. And by up, we mean stuck in the web. Yeah, the boys are being nightmares upstairs. I think Ezrin's flying. Nope, no, she came down to the ground and got stuck. Yep. Yeah, I dropped Dr. Calamario off, and now I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dr. Calamario is going to repair himself. For eight? Nice. Nice. And then Ezrin, I will shoot with the crossbow. I don't... Did I have disadvantage? Uh, I... yes. So 14, misses. 14 does miss. And so then I will do it again. Uh, 18 also misses. Dang it. Darn it. <laughs> Son of a monkey. I am not happy. I put on my, my uh, cloak of stars. Okay. What does that do again? Uh, you have disadvantage on attacks. Ooh, nice. Makes you look extra emo. Super emo. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dionominos. What's up? You're up. I am? You are. Oh, sorry. I don't even... oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, Christ. All right. Hmm. How tortured is this poor spider who... Uh, even with your the passive way. perception, this thing looks real rough. Okay. I'm as tortured as it's about to be. <laughs> That's probably true. All right. Um, I'll fly my little book over here. Okay. And I will shoot a arrow towards those two. An arrow? Yeah, or not an arrow, a lightning bolt. Okay. To those little, or those two spiders. The two spiders? Yeah. They okay. never went. Uh, they they appeared, never... and so they are going to go next. Oh, okay. All right. So do they need to make little saves? I believe they do. I think it's dexterity. It is dexterity. All right. The first one nearest. What is her dex? All right. And I got a nat one. So this is going to be double damage for him as it, or her as she kind of tumbles and falls into it. Uh, and the next one will get 15. I think that does not save. That does not save. Okay. So one takes full damage. The other one takes double damage oh, yeah. as it like gets hit right in the freaking eight eyeballs. That's right. Right between the eyes. Right between eight. the double eyes. 8d6, right, Nick? Yep. Dang. A fireball made of lightning and a line. Mm -hmm. And, um... Well, yeah, that's fine. That's good. Yeah, not the best roll. 23. <laughs> All right, so this thing instantly evaporates the first spider. And the other one does not look good. It's like, you know, one of those spiders that you see just crawling around with, like, two legs and just looking like it's having a rough day. Oh, yeah. That's... Hear me! Yeah. You know, one of the cats got it. Yeah, exactly. Are you sure you're not just imagining an ugly person with two legs? <laughs> probably. They're probably coming to help. Like, they're like... An arachnid looking person. Hey, we heard you guys are in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's our time to help get rid of the spider. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rexenor, you're up next. It, you know, wild mess with success. Uh, I'm going to cast Fireball at fourth level. Nice. Uh, All right. Now, that means I'm out of fourth level spells, but, you know. Giant spider feels Last like that way. Time to uh, to use that. So she needs to make a dexterity saving throw, DC 18. She succeeds. All right. Well, then she will take 
17 fire damage. Yeah, that negative one really helped. And that, well, right, so I guess 20. So, and that is just enough. How do you want this thing to wither and die? So, yeah, she she is, like, you know, biting at, at my party, and uh, the, the fireball uh, explodes on the bridge behind her and just wraps around her and, you know, just sinks down into a clump. Lovely. All right. Uh, let me give me a quick second. Yeah. So she withers and screams in agony as uh, your fire. Uh, what is it? A firebolt? Yeah, fireball. Fireball singes her to death. And you see this like grotesque, pussy, green ooze. Ew. And, so, and since I'm flying still, I do a couple of backflips. There you go. Oh, there you uh -oh. go. You're going to fall off. And my, the my experience. I, I'm in full control of my flying, my friend. Oh, that's... In, the, in my experience, every time Fireball is ever brought out, then uh, there's usually green slimy stuff <laughs> as people throw it up immediately. Yeah. <laughs> and as the, as the Iker oozes from her, the, the water steams and becomes grotesque and you all know that it will probably be a poison for quite some time to come woohoo woohoo all right so the water's poisoned yeah i would downstream yeah oh cool whoops <laughs> oopsie maybe we should burn it no we should take a sample of it yeah Dip uh, our weapons in it. Now chaotic good we burned the village to save the village <laughs> All right, um, Lucky, you want to kill the last one? I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess he's gone. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I'll just cast. Um... Yeah, finish this off. Like I, I got more important shit to do. Both. Oh really yeah. Good. I'll do acid Good. arrow. That should kill it. Good job on that extra super duper critical that Double you just three. rolled. Quick. Hell oh, yeah, that's gonna hit. I guess. 10 damage. Yeah, it's dead. I'm calling That's it. 13 damage. Oh, what what's the heck is going on with this? Man, roll 20 sucks. Oh, you're right. Did you guys see the uh, the trailer for the weird story? The Weird Al movie? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Can't I think wait. it's based off Funny or Die. Uh, yeah, it was a bit. There, I guess there was a sketch or something that they did in like 10 years yeah. ago. With um, Aaron Paul as we're all in that one. Oh, I just love how disinterested and <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe is acting. He just doesn't do anything. He's just Daniel Radcliffe with an American accent. A bad one. It's not that bad. Oh, it's pretty bad. It reminds me of the Endeavor uh, accent. <laughs> Whenever there's an American, yeah, oh, we're from the well, howdy, fellers. <laughs> that was too good. We uh, come from a place called Indianapolis. I'm from Minnesota. <laughs> um, also, I want to know what Amber now. I'm now listening to fan fiction. Fan fiction. I I, I quite enjoyed that book. I <laughs> liked I liked the the voice actors. It was pretty good. Oh, the yeah. end sucked, but it did. About you know, four fifths of the the book were pretty good. Mm. That's a book that you're re you were showing us. I think Will Wheaton uh, read that book. Oh yeah, this no. is just the Pathfinder book. I was oh, is that like the? No, it was uh, Brett Spiner. That's well, it's, huge. Sorry. Yeah, no, this is the Pathfinder Player's Guide is like the Dungeon Master's Guide and the Player's Guide in one. Okay, and so Monster two. Manual? <laughs> no, that's separate. Wow, that's a thick book. <laughs> it's big. I've been listening to uh, Discworld. It's been uh, wonderful. Oh, that's a fun one. Does anybody need this book? I don't know. No, I don't, I don't do physical books anymore. You don't need it? I, I much prefer physical books. 
I don't. I don't want to carry carry paper. Do, any, do, any, do anybody need this? Because I accidentally have two of them. <laughs> two of them. Uh, you probably sell it. Maybe. Yeah, it hasn't been opened even. Ooh. You could hollow it out and hide something in it. <laughs> like Imzadi three. <laughs> oh my God. What did you have in that? Was it a flask? Yes. So There's camel milk. Lon, I just sent you some information about our game day. I got it. Thank you so much. Wait, there's information? We have a plan? Well, well like your house. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. You know, like our address. You what, know. What's the plan? What's the theme? I don't know. What day what is, is it? What day is it? That's what I always want to know. All right. Not Saturday. It's the 17th, and um, you were thinking, we were thinking about, like, international food. Hello. So I'm back. Maybe there's a national holiday or something. Uh, Sorry, I'm back. I don't have any that my flag is to match up with. Although, the day before is Mexican Independence Day. You could do Mexican. I could do Mexican. I do make a pretty good mm. green chili. It's Responsible Dog Ownership Day. It's yes. Batman Day. It's Big Whopper Liar Day. So hamburgers or hot dogs? <laughs> see responsible that's what labor day is for though the responsible hot dog is not to eat a hot dog. <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh uh we're, we're pretty sure that uh lucky demolished the spider with an acid arrow uh probably um I did turn the image hit. yeah it's, yeah that's fine yep it did yeah it's dead it's dead you guys killed it i i was thinking okay so uh, what do I want to do now? What do I want to do? So this thing, uh, actually, what do you all want to do? Uh, I'm going to take a... a... No. I've, got, I've got to say, as a dungeon master who is also a player, the DM saying, what do I want to do is one of the most terrifying things I could possibly hear. Yeah. So, what do you all want to do? Yeah, why don't you tell me what you want to do? Can we? Uh, uh, drag, I think we're gonna drag the spider away from the water. So, right? is the is all the uh, web hair gone now? With the um, spider? no, it's actually still there as well. I, mean, I, fi I figure some of that on the bridge might have gotten hit with a fireball, but yeah, yeah, we'll say the one on the bridge did, as the bridge got destroyed as well. Should we? Push the spider away from the water. I feel like that's a good idea. I will leave that in stronger hands than mine, which are almost <laughs> all of them. Come down from there. <laughs> Do you want to try moving it then? Uh, sure. I mean, we'll grab some rope and tie it up or something. Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead and do a strength check. Uh, Rexenor will show you where to push and give you a natural 16 on top of whatever else you got. Well, can someone else help? I mean, I'm not the only one who has arms. I'm stuck in a web. No, you're not. It's dead. No, the web's still there. Yeah, I'm still. I can I try to get out of it uh -huh. again? Why would you need? And to... it's just a regular. I mean, or if someone wants to try destroying the web. What? Without hurting each other? <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Whatever. Just, you know what? Someone throw a, a, a fireball at me. I don't care. I'll be fine. <laughs> Can we just walk through it slowly? I mean, we've got plenty of time. No, if you go into it, you are restrained until you do a strength check of 21. But then we can just keep walking. We can keep going, right? No, oh, you're restrained. Um, no, you can't move through it. You're restrained. Uh, no worries. We could build a stone bridge or something around it. So does that, nobody have a fireball that they can lend me? Just like toss it over me? I mean, that's also going to hit Lucky and Ezrin. So. Oh, fine. I think Ezrin's fine with it. She has 51 hit points. Lucky? Uh, Lucky has 70. Do you care if you get hit by a fireball? 70? Fuck that. I'm not waiting around to listen. Uh, I cast fireball. <laughs> I can I can handle a fireball right right in the middle of that shit. Okay. 
I have slight magic resistance. I, I assume the uh, the yeah. webbing fails on the deck. Ah! Yeah, and it, it burns up quite nicely. Um, it, it takes a little while to burn through. Uh, even even with a um, even with twenty eight, it it took a while, and then it had just enough left over to destroy the other one that was already there. So oh. that's destroyed. The people who move the spider um, will take an additional uh, eight acid or poison. No, acid damage as you get some of that gross poison on you. I was going to try, try and tie a rope around it. I guess that might melt the rope. Yeah, I mean, she's like, yeah, kind of exploded. Hmm, let's see. I've got to have something. She got burned real bad. Yeah. I'm just gonna mage hand move. <laughs> Probably not enough. Yeah, I did get I did a natural sixteen to uh, add to your strength check. I don't really want to get burned. I mean, even tying a rope, you still got to pull the damn thing. Yeah, you're on the side of a mountain. I'm a minotaur. That's what I do. Okay. Do a strength I mean, check. I could also polymorph into something and push it that way. You know what? I'll do that. Okay. Guys, step aside. Okay. <laughs> Everybody move, and I'll T-Rex. Okay. Oh, here we go. Wait, no, I can't be a T-Rex. I got to be something smarter than a T-Rex. Uh, <laughs> That's going to be hard. <laughs> let's see. What's the smartest beast in 5e? 5e. Uh, elephant? Ooh, maybe. With tusks. How smart is an elephant, though? Well, they're pretty smart in, uh, in real life. I don't know if they were in D&D. <laughs> What's a brontosaurus like? It doesn't give me my stats. I need some a stats. A mammoth? A woolly mammoth? How much does a woolly mammoth do? How smart is it? I want to know. I just want to know a smart... A smart thing I can turn into. Uh, orangutan. That's not big enough. <laughs> it's got to be real big strength and a sixteen to build on. I feel like you could bench press that fucking thing. An orangutan. Well, okay, sure. I can't. Primates turn. like a chimpanzee or an ape or gorilla. You I sure? Would, I would frequently use a giant ape when I was a, a use polymorph. You sure you don't want to be a big old T Rex? I can, how smart is a T-Rex, though? It's not going to be smart enough to do it's this. It's just pushing something. <laughs> yeah, but I'd have to be smart enough to remember how to do that. I mean, it, it should still have your mind. Yeah. Uh, does it? I thought a polymorph turns you into that animal. I mean, I'll, I give, it, I'll give it to you. I mean, it's a, like, it a, a basic instruction of, like, move that. I think most creatures, like a horse, would know how to do that. The target's game statistics, including mental ability scores, are replaced by the statistics of the chosen beast. I well, suppose so. That's never how play But that. it does retain its alignment and personality. So I guess I'm a... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the, I, could, I could absolutely buy the T-Rex is annoyed by the spider in the way. How, okay. um, how big is a T-Rex? I think it's like that big, isn't it? Like, it's, is it, it huge? It was huge last time. <laughs> okay. Huge so, is three by three, right? Yeah, yeah, that's three by three. Um, so I need you to do a couple checks. I need you to first do a dexterity saving throw. As a T Rex. As a T Rex, as you're on a mountain ledge oh, that falls T-Rex. precipitously down to the chasms. Well, I'm not anywhere near the edge. You are on the edge. You guys are on the edge. It's a mountain ledge. It was like side. three squares wide. And you are three squares lot wide. Yeah, so I'm right the right size. These people are supposed to be moving away from me. I'm sure, yeah, they moved away. Still needs you to do a deck save. Well, I'm not going to turn it to a T-Rex if there's not enough room. Okay. I'll do the ape. It's probably smart enough. Orangutan. All right. Let me check. Let me check. Sorry, I didn't know. The, I, I don't know all the animals off by heart. <laughs> yes. yeah. the, I'm actually stronger than an orangutan. <laughs> um, I'll do the T-Rex. Why not? Who cares? Jesus Christ. Strength save. 
Or dex save? Dex save. Uh, hey, at least I'm a bard, so I'm a, a proficient. Uh, T Rex, T Rex. All right, I'm going to move around behind it. Okay. I'm going to go here. Can you control this? Let me give you control of it. I'll move here. There you go. Yeah, I'll move like there, and I'll push it. Everybody move out of the way, so I'm going to push it away from the water. Oh, wait, maybe I should push it into that cave. Let's do that. Okay. I mean, in That's going to be more harder. I'll do that. All right, so I need to roll. It's so stupid. Roll oh, plus zero, great. Roll so I got, I get my, yeah, it's the same. <laughs> my T Rex Dex is the same as. <laughs> Maybe you should eat it. All right. Twenty three. Okay. Yep. You're very prepared. Now do a strength check. Now here right. you can add sixteen to your strength score. Well, my strength is uh, a twenty five, so it's plus seven. So twenty three. Yeah. So you did a 23? Let me roll my crit. You never know. Or is that don't not work that way? Yeah, I, just, I have to do it before uh, the DM. Okay. All right. So you're moving it? <laughs> yeah, we're pushing it. I'm going to push it back in the cave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you shove it in there and with your tiny little arms and your little nose. Yeah. But don't we need to go <laughs> in there? Yes. <laughs> no, we're going around the mountain, aren't we? No, like no, it. no, 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 no. You guys don't There's need to no go in there. Path. You guys don't need to go in there. Oh, okay. okay. The path around it. Never mind. I didn't see it. No, that's where the spider came out of. We're not going in there. It's gross. <laughs> it's real nasty. All right. I'm so... in there. All right. How much damage do I take? It doesn't matter because I'm going to turn like, back into a person. Like eight. Yeah. Or probably more than that. But yeah, you're fine. So you guys have solved the case or the, the puzzle of the dead spider. So good job. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Anything else you guys want to do in this little area? One hour later. Investigate. Yeah, you do that. I want to shake hands with Rex. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do, Lucky? I'm actually going to drink a healing potion and then use the bottle to um, take a sample of the poison. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely kind of get a vial of the poison. Yeah. Um, Ezra, and I'll, I'll just say it's a straight 24. Rex with a 25. You do manage to find, uh, we'll say a good 175 gold that's inside the cave uh, from like skeletons and other kind of creatures that are stuck in the spider webs in there. If anyone wants to do like a nature check or a history check on this thing, now that you have a little more time to... Let me see what the the modifier for it is. Uh -oh. <laughs> what if it was peaceful? <laughs> bullshit. Always. Always on bullshit. Let Damn, me, Rexnor, always on bullshit. Let me, let me see what my Matt history 20. check is as a T-Rex. Holy crap, I got... <laughs> wow, the T-Rex knows it's stuff. 14. It. Wow. Well, it's All been right. around since... No, 15. It's gone a time. Yeah. <laughs> T Rex is like, I know all around the history of this. Yeah. <laughs> Tari got a four with the investigation, so she's just like cleaning her blade, not really looking. Um, I think I might be like, uh, uh, rage crashing. Yeah, we're. Let yeah. me have a look. Maybe good stuff in cave. Yeah, you're just kind of. Oh, no, we get three. <laughs> And then history, Ezra got a 17, Rexner got a 29 with a nat 20, and Dianuminos. Uh, D Anonymous got a 19. So what you all gather with those high scores is that this creature wasn't just a normal spider. Clearly, it looked like it was from um, Nyx. You saw that when it was alive. And you get the sense that this is a lesser form of an Arasta. A-R-A-S-T-A. And these Arasta are... Creatures that were um, damned by the gods and have been known to live within the depths of the Nessian wood. And so this one was a lesser Arasta. 
Right. Yeah, their their clan is called Rastafarians, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. Job <laughs> praise. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you had <laughs> talked to her, that's how she would have sounded. <laughs> no, we didn't try and talk to her. Oh man, damn it! We if if, I, if I could do a Jamaican accent, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Why are you making me do this? Oh, womp womp. All right. Yeah, we moved on. Yeah, we moved on. So, Anything else? No? You guys can take a nice long rest. This was a big old fat battle. Well, I feel like we can keep going, right? No, no, I need to rest. At, at the very least, I would need a short rest because you yeah, far. Spell slots were spent on fireball as I looked like Elmo in the fire. <laughs> you sound like Cookie Monster. Uh, <laughs> you need lift. So you had that long rest. Uh -huh. yeah. Long rest, awesome. Fine, I guess I'm not a T Rex anymore. We don't know what's coming up ahead. So we might need some. We'll be a T Rex later. But There's plenty of T-Rex times. But I was a T-Rex right now. Yeah. I'm down, Baruka. I gotta fix Mr. Clickety Clack, man. You do have to fix Mr. <laughs> Clickety Clack. Clickety Clack. He got knocked out. He was not very strong. And Ezra, you do find some little trinkets of things inside the cave as well. Ooh, these are perfect. Did I... Did I find some sticky web that I can also like clamble up so that I can study it and try to incorporate into some invention? Yeah, actually, some of the webbing that you were stuck in, it's not just normal webbing. It's actually hair that is growing from her head um, that is, is magical in properties. Oh, I like this. I must wow. see what I can do with this. Yeah. Add to inventory. Magic hair. Magic, make, magic spider hair. Spider-Man. Ooh. Hey, oh. In all seriousness, uh, Loki does do that on a quest. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm just eating a pe frozen pina colada over here. Yeah, it's super so delicious. Like I'm, dr I'm <laughs> drinking a refrigerated margarita. Ooh. Like pina colada. <laughs> Bud Light Lime. Ugh. What wine. Do you, what kind? Just just wine. Just red wine. The house red. Uh, it's, it's like a movie red. when they drink beer brand beer. Yeah. No, it's a uh, bourbon bear or bourbon barrel aged cavern Cabernet Sauvignon. Ooh. 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 Oh, yeah. Lucky's drinking Mountain Dew over there. Yeah. Not not liking it. <laughs> Are you really drinking Mountain Dew? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> what kind? It's old school. <laughs> Good old corn syrup. I, uh, do you, do I you have the of... onions, too? No, I don't. <laughs> I always think of the uh, the Simpsons where uh, Homer goes to New York. It's like, you have anything to wash that down? We've got crab juice and Mountain Dew. Ooh, <laughs> disgusting. I'll take the crab juice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, gosh. All right. So... Y'all take a nice long rest. Over the next, I would say, day or two, you continue up this rocky, uh, scree-infested, rock-infested uh, path. Sometimes you lose the path, have to re-backtrack, climb up again a different route, and get higher and higher, quickly getting above tree line as you get to the top of this mountain range and going along its back and there's canyons and cliffs and all sorts of dangerous things around uh, you hear monsters at night um these booms and you you are above the clouds at this point you are extremely high uh at at this point i mean in in our world it would probably be Upwards of like fifteen thousand feet or more above sea level, you're you're getting up there. The air's getting thin, um, and the path leads you to a chasm directly in front of you. And there is a bridge that you all see that looks like you know the 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 
Drongolins told you they haven't been up here in years, uh, generations. And so okay. now you have this bridge. <sighs> the bridge. Are we able to breathe okay? Like, is the oxygen? Yeah. Making it I imagine it's great. Um, you know, you, it's not impeding your ability to walk quite just yet. You're you're some beefy boys okay. and girls and non-binaries. So I see this. Is it like a chasm, chasm, whatever you say? Yep. <laughs> and I get nervous, so I turn into a giant eagle. Ooh. I like it. A giant eagle. I should have that here somewhere. Before we get on this bridge, I'm going to turn into a mammoth. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Theodore. <laughs> and there's some stats. Like, I think I can, like, carry up to, like, 200 pounds or something like that. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to put, I'm going to give you control, uh, lucky. Yay, my All eagle right, cap. you got your eagle back. <laughs> Are we just trying to see what's on the other side? Or uh, the path, or uh, I mean, you can do an investigation check. Well, I can send my book over because it's really yeah. costing me. Yeah, you can send your book over. Stuff. All right. Yeah, so uh, as, as you send your book over, you definitely see that the path continues on up and up uh, after this chasm and that there doesn't appear to be any other better way around hmm but what's on the other side um i don't know Chicken. well uh the path over the mountain Chicken goes you uh go ahead and do a perception check do you? Um, well, let me get the book up um, perception this is from Apostle. The party tracked a treacherous ledge in search of their quest in honor, in honest pledge. From the Cypress Gate to the Phoenix Stairs, losing friends, fighting foes, and resting to prepare their, their affairs. Oh. Higher and higher they climbed up further, clouds dispersed only to show trails abound in tedious fervor. Nice. Our legend is being written yeah, as we're living. I know, right? <laughs> I just I just picture a bard following distantly behind us so to not get caught in the backsplash. I know we're gonna we're gonna change right Apostle's name to we're gonna change his name to Dandelion. Wait. <laughs> distantly or, or is it pronounced in some of the audiobooks Dandelion? Dandelion. Yeah, I How's... never like it's Dandelion, you fucking moron. Say it right. Are you sure? Because it might be like some weird Polish word that doesn't it's not here, I, uh, in the original Polish. So I've read the two prequels and I'm on the third book. So I've on the fifth book, I guess. And I was actually going to look up like this week. I was like, I wonder what it is in Polish. Yeah. They kept it in uh, the TV show. They did. They did. Okay. So uh, a six. Yeah. Do you know, you don't really see shit. That's crazy. Hmm. Sorry, bud. Is All it right. pretty cloudy? clouded up there like is it foggy kind of yeah you're looking down it is extremely foggy you are above the clouds at this point so i fear that there might be something under the bridge <laughs> in the clouds that might it's be. billy goat gruff oh no i was, I was gonna say go bane <laughs> 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 or, or, or fucking red hot chili peppers i cast fireball again highest level <laughs> oh i like the chili pepper i mean i liked them and then they oh got i like flea yeah, please get. What's the best flying thing I could turn into that isn't a dinosaur? I mean, I could dimension door you across there. I can turn into a swarm? Whoa. <laughs> you can turn into a swarm? I think the giant eagle is the best one, right? Can you turn into a giant eagle? I love my giant eagle. Wow. All right. Can you turn into a dragon yet? Or no? Or is that not? I can't turn into a dragon, no. I can only turn into beasts. Beasts? Okay. Well, there's a giant um, what's uh, vert vulture. Vultures are gross. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to be a vulture. Just saying, just saying. Hey, call him Senator Cruz, like he has earned. All right. <laughs> that is... Or as he likes to, as he writes it himself, it's just a series of pictograms. <laughs> Vultures are exactly what they're supposed to be. They're beautiful creatures, unlike Cruz. 
Vultures literally yeah, defecate on their own purpose. Vultures Every- defecate on their own legs like constantly. They're yeah, so do so do children. So do children. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so do drunk yeah. people. Yeah, I mean, raise your hand if you haven't shat on your own legs once or twice. Like, come on. <laughs> not, not constantly, but I get you. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, um, so let's let's, all right. So, Tara, you do anything to prepare to c- cut across this thing? <laughs> all right. I'm a mount, so I can fit one person on me. Who wants to mount Lucky? <laughs> No. That's a uh, trick question. Oh, I was gonna say Tara is no gonna just run. Tara's gonna run. Okay. Sorry, I, I can get you across there, no problem. How far is the bridge? Uh it's how much? About a hundred feet. Under hundred feet. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm measuring to see if I can misty step it. Can but, I fly uh, a little bit out there? See ya. Wait, are we free range right now? Like, are we going in turns, or are we just kind of moving? Uh, we're going to go in turns across the bridge, but so... Oh. Okay, oh, okay. I, I'll wait to cast Dimension Door. I'll then. wait. I'll wait. I can take someone with me. Yeah. Okay, so, Tari, you're going to walk across. Uh, Rex said he could get me over there. Okay. Uh, uh, Theodora, you're going to Dimension Door? Yeah, who wants to come with me? I will. All right, me and uh, me and Dianumenus are gonna dimension door. Okay, Ezrin. I am flying on my broomstick. And your constructs. With me, yes. Okay, and Dianumnus, you're going with uh, Rexnor. Mm-hmm. Or not Rexnor, but um, Theodore. Theodore. <laughs> Theodor. And Rexnor, you're going uh, with Tari right. in a dimension yes, door. Yes, I will take Tari and DD to the other side. And lucky you are flying. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna just move your tokens. Can I do something while I'm flying? Because I have keen sight. Can I just do a perception check? Yeah. With advantage. Well, will I have advantage in this? Um, no. Okay. Be a straight roll in. Oh, yeah. whoops, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Birds are good looking at things. Did it roll? <laughs> hey, guys, it looks like there's a big... Ah! <laughs> Did it roll? No. I saw the dice fly out, but... I saw nothing. There it goes. Ah. 13. So, so roll 20 has the... You rolled the dice and it goes off the table function, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's only... It's added realism. It's so, not a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> Um, Ezrin and Lucky. So the rest of you just dimension door and poof, you're on the other side there. Uh, Ezrin and Lucky, whereabouts? How are you doing this? Flying. <laughs> okay. You're just flying I'm, kind I'm of. I'm like over the bridge. Like I'm probably like a good 15, 20 feet above the height of the bridge. Okay. I'm not like, yeah. And Ezrin, you're muted. I am also flying up above the bridge. Like 15, 20 feet? But, yeah. Let's roll it down. About. All right. Um, I need you both to do one more perception check. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Yeah, Lucky doesn't see anything. Uh, Ezrin, Ezrin with a with a dirty twenty, you're able to like get out of the way as these two giant no. hands come reaching through the clouds. Like a giant baby hands. Giant baby hands come whacking at you. Uh, let's see. Um, oof, duh. Let's see. Uh, Lucky is gonna nat twenty. What? Oh no! Oh, two oh, right hands. Know. Yeah, I know. Well, they're two I'm different, crawling. two different hands. Uh, let's see. What is this? Good thing I didn't have anybody on my back. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Looking at the bright side. Looking at the bright side. <laughs> <laughs> so Forty-two fun. damage. What? Wow. Now, how much HP does a giant eagle have? It has. Uh, 
third. Wait, no. Twenty six. Okay, so you turn back into Lucky. Oh no. And you are now. Wait. La la, I'm falling. I'm falling. And you. Can I dive? Can you dive? Dive on my broom to try to get him. Um, I don't think that's part of the reaction mechanic. Uh, what's the fall damage? Is it 1d4 for 10 feet? 1d6? It's d6 for 10 feet. Okay, so we'll just do 1d6. Uh, so you take two bludgeoning damage as well. So of- that number I gave you, that 42, yeah. um, you subtract the first part from the eagle and the rest goes right. to you. So it's 18 and then two more. So and then 20. two more. Yep. Okay. And then, um... I'll do this with disadvantage on Ezrin, since she was able to see it. Yeah, they miss. Well, no, let's see. Um, 8 plus 12 plus. That's it. So So I'm back in human form. (laughs) Or or not. Seder form. Seder form, yeah. And Ezrin got hit with a dirty 20. Let me see what her AC is. Come on. Load it up. Come on, roll 20. You can do it. Oofa doofa. Uh, armor says it's 0. 0.0404 for her armor class. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. So that, 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 that all checks out. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, I guess that's what happens. <laughs> Your armor class is Ahura's fan dance. Right, exactly. Um, we'll wait till she comes back. All right. So Tari is off the screen. Uh, Theodore, what are you doing in this moment? So Tari made it across. Yeah, yeah. She's running. Uh, I don't know if she ran. You grabbed her, didn't you? Yeah. Oh I, no, I, you, I, you, I, you, you dimension door across. Mm. Oh, you dimension door too. <laughs> uh-huh. High five. <laughs> uh, okay. Do I see? What do I? What exactly do I see? Big hands come and punch a bird out of the sky. Twenty-one. <laughs> so they miss you. So uh, yeah, you saw these little baby hands. These giant baby hands come out of the clouds and, and punch a bird out of uh, yeah onto the bridge. Yeah, like punch like an just eagle into a cider. <laughs> I pull out my bingo card and I'm like, giant bird, <laughs> get punched by baby hands, cross it off. Oh, I've almost got a bingo. Um, gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, <laughs> I will cast Sanctuary on Lucky Lala. What does that do? Uh, is he, wh- wh- where's 30 feet? I'll, co- I'll go to the edge of the bridge. I guess. I don't want to. And I'll cast Sanctuary. Okay, what does that do? Uh, Any creature that targets the warded creature with an attack must make a wisdom saving throw first. And it's it's actually a 17, not 16. Okay. Because I'm a... Because boom, 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 drums. So am I falling still, or did I cast... You luckily said that you were flying over the bridge, and so you landed on the bridge. Okay, I landed on it. Good. Yeah. All right. After I cast that, I'm going to step back away from the edge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good call. Had you not, it's probably a good night, Vienna. Ezra, you managed to dodge out of the way. You are still flying above the bridge, but you uh, you're getting whacked at these giant baby hands. Yes. Can I try to swoop down and grab Lucky and then fly straight up? Yeah, how, and your bridge can, or your bridge, your broom can carry that much. Well, I'm a light. I'm a little. Yeah, yeah. it can go up to like three hundred pounds. Or sure. Yeah, and you have enough range. You got okay. sixty feet on that sucker, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I dive down and I say, "Lucky, get on the broom." Uh, I you know, I'll say you can up. grab on as a bonus action and. And can I? Since I'm having him grab on and I'm not helping him, can I dash to go straight up so I can basically do 100 feet total so it'd be 15 foot down and then 85 up? Or you can go towards the other side of 
where the land is. Shoot towards yeah. land. I guess I'll do that. Yeah. yeah. For, but I can do a dash. Yeah, absolutely. Pray okay. to Karanos, but row for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Harry Potter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, so I, I dash us to the other side. <laughs> yeah. All those hands are freaky. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Scott so Mob all time? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is there anything else you want to do in your turn? Um I think how do we have a sense are the hands gonna keep getting us here? Should we keep moving? I want to keep moving away. Which direction do people want to go so I can continue my my movement? I think we're at the edge of the map. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta you kind of see that like the the it leads off to the left and kind of keeps going uh, further up the mountain. Should we leave a sign saying "Watch out for baby hands"? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> watch for the baby Barbie hands. baby hands here. I gotta write that on the ground somehow. Beware yeah. of baby hands. Yeah, you can do like press digitation, not press digitation, but uh, whatever it is. Yeah, it's press digitation. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Last for an hour. Hands, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, there's no one following behind you. Well, you yeah. do have a bard that's following behind you, yeah. so you might want to let them know. I, I I picture this bard keeping us like in eye shot, like with spyglass or something, it's like. You know, maybe I'll find another route. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Um, Y'all kind of want to skadoodle out of there? Do we have any idea what that was? You can do a history or nature check. It was like a rock giant baby or something. <laughs> Cliff giant. Like Ozzy Osbourne? Rex North, another nat 20. Whoa! On his right. check. Oh, I'm not even going to roll. Yeah. I can match like... No. So Rexenor pushes up his glasses and like, well, actually, I did study giant. <laughs> yes, yeah, he he's fluent in giant, and he, oh, he he regales you on the happenings of cloud giants, that they mm -hmm. are a high level of giant that um, can actually turn into a gaseous form and live within the clouds. <gasps> They're like. Where clouds or something like that? Yeah, I mean they're they're Jack and the Beanstalk uh, giants. They're on the clouds. Oh wow, cool. Yeah. Are they friendly? Uh, these <laughs> ones yeah, appear to they be, are. These ones appear well, to be territorial. Okay. They hate birds. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you don't see a bird. single bird. I'm so confused. Why would they allow a bridge to just exist above their space? Because if... uh, more people to punch. There it is. Yeah, it's More birds to snatch out of the sky. I mean, you can always have Rexnor ask them. Yeah. Hey, Rex. That thing I just said. <laughs> and all you see is another hand come out and just like... <laughs> and then goes back down. And back to your mother. And this is and giant fish, Schwarzeneggies. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck off. I think we have our ends with the anomalies. <laughs> they hate us. <laughs> well, thank you for the save, Ezrin. Yes, it is my pleasure. <laughs> I thought I was going to fall into the pit. We would not let that happen to you, Lucky. Not if we have anything to say about it. 6,000 feet. What, what is that from, the fake bird thing? Uh, real the, life. The internet. Oh, the internet. Just the internet. Yeah. It's just the internet. <laughs> Our current reality. Uh, I, I, I have to admit, I really like that. At least they're punching up. <laughs> Birds are weird. I mean, they are dinosaurs, right? I mean, I yeah. hate dinosaurs. Yeah, they're seropods. Cera they're the same line of dinosaurs as Tyrannosaurus rex. Yeah, so there you go. Which I but, just learned was discovered in Golden. You know yeah, that? yeah. But they taste delicious. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. No wonder they're extinct. Yeah. Humans ate them all 2,000 years ago. All right. Was, uh, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so you all. Uh, maybe uh, those aliens that went to, came to serve man wanted dinosaurs instead. <laughs> There you go. You know, just today in class, uh, I, in my PowerPoint, I have a slide 
It's a triceratops wearing a uh, saddle. And it says, <laughs> it's a triceratops wearing a saddle. Checkmate, atheist. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, reality. Hey, you want that? I got an AI program that'll help. Oh, yeah, I can, I can make create that Jesus real quick. A dinosaur. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. There you go. Don't, do, right don't do it. We're busy playing D D. All right. So uh you all have thwarted my uh, giant encounter. I thought yeah, you guys were gonna get away scot free, but not Yeah, we lucky. saw a rickety bridge and we thought, no. <laughs> no, no DM. Stop it. I'm a ninth level wizard. I don't walk across anything rickety if I don't fucking have to. <laughs> rickety, rickety, rickety bridges. Walking for suckers. Exactly. I like so over over the next couple of days, you continue on getting closer and closer to the pinnacle of this mountain that you are climbing, these Phoenix stairs. You begin to see near the top this small and mostly derelict um, temple. And through sleet and fog and rain and chilly nights you have you know you're all bundled up nice and close in your old tiny huts um <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for this drawing um what are you doing <laughs> it's drawing what i think it is <laughs> okay <laughs> Oh, he's so so angry. He's so angry. He's so sad. Well, yeah. His hands is on backwards. I'd be pissed too. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying right there's probably there. two giants down there, but that's fine. <laughs> They're both right here. This is funnier though. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. All right, so you all continue on <sighs> trudging up to this temple, and as you get closer, you you see that there's an archway. And you walk into it and finally realize that you are at this wow. temple and walking in in the early morning, light streaming in from the endless sea of mountaintops. This temple looks like it hasn't seen any sentient footstep in millennia. The statues you see before you appear to be pristine while the rest of this is falling apart, crumbling to dust, returning back to nature. What are y'all doing? Six statues with one in the center, so seven. Mm. Can I do like an arcana check? Yeah. Um... Hold on. Isn't there a mock conspiracy site that says birds don't exist? Yeah. What's that? So that there's a mock conspiracy site uh, or like movement that says that birds don't exist. Yeah, and it's specifically to make fun of ridiculous conspiracy theories, and it's been in a theory play, of course. Yeah, of course. Because the world. Because the uh, world. So I'm, I'm going to do a religion check. Okay. Probably, you know. Ooh. Never mind. <laughs> you used up all your brain cells on the last thing. Yeah, yeah, on on, on useless bullshit. Yeah, That's, now one <laughs> don't know. Um, so Ezrin, this you definitely feel magic energy pulsating throughout as you presumably walk around these statues are this is the source of the magic are these statues uh with religion of a 20 with dionominos uh theodore getting a 16 uh what exactly religious wise are you guys looking for well this appears to be like a temple sort of thing right so just kind of trying to figure out to whom and what we would know about it and Maybe the religious practices. Okay. Yeah. Is it is it religious or is it some just historical? I mean, I could roll. History. I don't think there's anything religious. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and what Dionominus Dionominus realizes is that there are runes, very much like the runes that he saw 
in Drongaland, and that these statues very much appear to be of the religious order of those um, foreigners, even though they would call you the foreigner. Uh, and uh, Theodore, this sounds about right. Uh, this is a, a very holy place. Can I just do a perception check to see if I see anything? Yeah. Oh, choose. An eight. Yeah, not really. You're still taking it Come all on, in. Tari, Tari, help me. <laughs> hmm. What up? am I trying to do? Perception. I didn't get very good perception roll. Not great. Uh, perception 14, you do get the, the perception that uh, the one in the center definitely appears to be the center of attention. Mm -hmm. hmm. Wow, that's kind of interesting. Has anyone done a history check? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? No, no one's done a history check yet. History, I don't think. Oh, dear. Kashikta. God damn it. Tari knows the history better than we do. Yeah. Tari, <laughs> Tari definitely remembers with the 16 overhearing the Drongolanders talking about the Phoenix Stairs and that there's this temple up top. Um, you remember in Satessa they were talking about these um, creatures or these legendary mythical entities that would save Satessa in its deepest or darkest hour. And that appears to be where you're at. This is it? This is what we're after? Some statues? Come on. Mythical creatures, though. I feel oh. like this is a puzzle to solve. Yeah. Really? I'm going to start casting Detect Magic. It's going to take a minute. Or ten. You're going to do what? I'm going to start the process of casting Detect Magic. I'm okay. going to cast it right away. Well, there, there you go. <laughs> and I mean, with I mean, Ezrin did get a dirty 20 and can tell you that the magic is is coming from these creatures. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll do an investigate. I'll do or something useful then and do an investigation check. Okay. I'll inspire you. <laughs> I will take it. For five. Uh, that'd be 18 total. 18, yeah. You, you're walking around and you see some of these runes written on the base of this statue, kind of at the, the podium of the central statue. Uh, and it, it essentially says something to the extent that um, only the worthy shall proceed and the rest shall fall. Oh, well, I guess we better turn around then. <laughs> wow, there it is. No, we've made it this far. Yeah, we're not worthy, are we? There are six like statues around the center. Perhaps there we should is. all each go to one statue. Okay. And, and face the center like they, them. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try that. What's in I'll there? Walk one. I'll stand in front of this one. Is it controlled? That can use is it shift um, behind or in front? Um, I don't know. I suppose we can go in front. So we're in. I'm the gonna end. be right where the hands are. <laughs> <laughs> we're like cradling up on there. <laughs> um. Is so y'all are going to each one of the sides. Um, is anyone going to the center one? There are only no. six of us. No. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I guess, do you know, what are you doing? Uh, so, I'm going to go. Wait, so you guys are on. Um, is there one side left ever? Uh, this one. I'll go there and send a book to the middle. Okay. Actually, I'll do it the other way. All right. Let's go so, do something stupid. D &D. <laughs> if you're not going to do something stupid in D&D, &D, then why are you playing? Right. I mean, are you really playing? Right, exactly. Bro, do you even play? 
So, Bro, do you roll? Does anyone say anything? Do anything? Uh, Hello, I got you. Friend. And Alvin. They open sesame! <laughs> Burlock! Uh, Abracadabra. <laughs> with my religion check, did I get any sense of, like, what, I don't know, any kind of ritual or anything like that that would go with this? Um, you, uh, let's see, what'd you get? You got, like, a, what was that? Dirty 20. A dirty 20. Yeah, you definitely get a sense that, um, uh, I'm trying to think here. You While get... you're thinking, I take engine grease, grease it on my face, spray chrome in my mouth, and go, V8. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Mad Max Fury Road. Okay, there you go. Um, you definitely have the sense that there, the writing all over is talking very much about Odin and, um, and a calamity that took place. And... Freya and repeats you see her name over and over again um, and you get the sense that perhaps uh, something to that extent of like speaking about her or of her could make something happen okay Freya so I guess I say that um, I say it's a Rex Nord because I don't know your role in that one I'm like, what do you think of that? Uh, that means oh, yeah. nothing to me. I, I I still think this is a fake temple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um does anybody do they speak they just speak common? These Viking people? They did. Uh yep. And so we can presume that common would work. Alright. Do I know any like general purpose incantations of gods or anything? No, I don't think so. I don't now know. lay me down to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Pray to Freya, my soul to keep. Just insert god name here. Um. <laughs> so as you said there were runes around. Uh huh. Can we read them? Yeah, I, that's what you read. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I guess I just read them aloud. Yeah, so as you're reading aloud and reading this um, horror that took place within their lands and how these creatures, um, these godlike creatures that uh, were these warrior women were cast down from the heavens and sentenced for to eternal damnation within um this land and you're reading this out loud you hear this voice come forth and say usurp us that's the wrong voice usurp us why have you disturbed us Say, oh, apologize, or we apologize, great gods. We were in your temples, and we didn't know what doing or reading this aloud would do. You have awakened us from our slumber. We, how can we amend for this infraction? There is no thing that you can do besides die. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and with that, the 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 temp or the the statues begin to glow and melt away, and you see these warrior women, some of them grotesque in nature, begin to slough off this um stone facade as it crumbles to the ground. Are they soul carriers? Well, you get the, I mean, you get the sense that they have been in slumber, in stasis, and they are all large women, like large creatures. They are twice, they're like just the same size as these statues. Um, quite large compared to you all. Not, not huge, but large for sure. 
Uh, yeah. Death by Snoo Snoo. And... Yes. The large women, then the petite women, then the large women again. <laughs> and what? And, and the main one in the middle says, You will all die here. I had a, a drachma for every time I heard that. <laughs> Keep pushing the wrong button. Oh. This is a voice. There you go. And it's it's their turn. So that's unfortunate Perfect. for you all. Oh. Very, right. very unfortunate. So the middle one is looking directly at Dianuminuminos. <laughs> and <laughs> it's her wings fly forward. And I'm going to need my little calculator here. And. Is going to attack you. Oh, lucky. That's not too great. Um, that's going to be a 16. All right. First to hit. Is it hit? Yeah, I think that hits. You, well, I does I it? Or something, but I don't know. Do you have mage armor? Um, I do. Yeah. Might be worth it. I think I have some shield. Can I cast that as a, it's a reaction? Report. That is a reaction, yeah. Adds five to your AC till your next turn. All right, I'll do that. And then, yes. So what's your AC? No, it's 18. 18? All right. Um, so that misses. And then it's going to attack you again with its wings as a fly forward in a whirlwind and that's a 24. Yeah, that'll hit. All right, and that's going to be I'll just take that. Well, no, I'll leave that there. Uh ba 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 ba. That's going to be 18 uh what was that piercing damage as one of the wings slices you. And mm -hmm. And then a third time, it comes back around on a third attack and is going to, I think, miss you with a 17 on that one. Correct. So you came out pretty well. Ezrin, yours is going to raise its wings up and attacks you. Well, no, actually, it's going to take its scythe in her hand and swing it at you for 23 to hit. That hits. All right. And that's going to be a total of 20 slashing oh, damage. Can I cast? Is that a reaction? Ooh, it is a reaction. I cast shield and it misses. Okay. What's your AC now? Uh, With the plus five, it's a 26. All right. So she's going to attack you again with her scythe. Uh, for 19, so misses with that as well. And the next one is looking at Rexanor. I have and... my shield spell all prepared. <laughs> Everybody's got shields. <laughs> all right, she's going to use her scythe. Oh, man, they're rolling for shit. That's an 18. Uh, I cast shield and that misses. Okay, and then she's going to attack. Uh, my AC you. is 21 right now. Nice. And another 18, and that misses you. And Theodore, yours is going to attack you with her wings. And that's going to be uh, 21 to hit. That is my armor class, so it hits. All right. What am I up next to? And that's going to be eight. Uh piercing damage as she attacks you again and uh, that's going to be a 22 that hits and i gotta just i'm just gonna copy and paste this all right that's gonna be another 10 uh 18 damage with the wings and then the last one with the wings as it comes back is so 80 plus 18 or uh what was it it was 10 plus 18 right no no it was 20 for the first hit 
20 damage? Yeah. I thought you said 8. No, sorry. So it was 3d6 plus 7, that was 20, and then another 3d6 plus 7, and that's an 18. Okay. Um, and the last hit's 19, that misses? Yeah, it misses. All right. Uh, the next one is going to come up and let's see who's going to attack because that just has this little thing next to it. It's actually going to go up and flank Rexenor. If I can grab it. That was like, that was actually half of my hit points that I just took. Oof da. Oof da. Well, luckily, no one else is really taking any damage because they're all. You could have used Unscarred. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, okay. that D20, D12. Unscarred sucks. I know. Is it a D12? It is. Yeah. A What's gone? <laughs> so you get to add seven hit points. So, so seven. Plus your con mod? Ten. Back. Okay, Rexnor, this this one comes up behind you, and actually, let me make sure it's not that twenty. Nope. How do I get rid of that? Okay, uh, and it hits you for twenty or at with a twenty nine. Uh, yeah, that one is gonna. Uh, hit. That's gonna hit, yeah, and so that's gonna be fifteen. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. Or, or wow, I'm rolling for shit. That's uh, 17. They're killing us. <laughs> 17 misses, right? Uh, definitely. 17 almost misses without shield. All right. And 21? Uh, 21 does just hit my armor class. Oh, okie dokie. And that one is going to be 16 piercing damage, and you are knocked prone. Oops, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Mm. All right, Tari, you are up next. This one is going to look at you in the face and try to swing its uh, bladed wings at you for a nat freaking 20. Mm -mm. And what? so that is going to be 13 times 2. So that's going to be 26 damage. You are not raging yet. You're going to take all that in the face. 26. Yep. And then I presume 23 also hits. And that's going to be another 17 piercing damage. And its last hit is going to probably miss. 15, does that hit? No. No. All right, last one misses. All right, last one's up for Lucky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Lucky. Uh, 22, does that hit? Yes, it does. Okay, that <laughs> person's going to be 14 damage with its wings. Oh. And its third, second attack, sorry, is going to be 19. Misses. Misses. Yay. And last one. And that's going to be 25 to hit. Hits. And it's... Oh, wait. That's not right. Uh, don't look at that. That's going to be... 18. And you are prone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Tari, you have stepped into it. What are you doing? Uh, first off, I'm raging. Okay. And I don't remember what is the savage attack pill. What did that do? Did that give you like advent now? What was the savage attack? Um, let me see. If I, I only wrote that I have one. I don't. Nord Nordak didn't get that far. Uh, uh, savage attack. Reckless attack is uh, advantage, but um. I think I have savage attack written down somewhere. Uh, 
What is your uh, barbarian path? Uh, it's the beast path, the one that turns into a crazy yeah. animal. Path, yeah, path of the beast. I don't know that one off the top of my head. Well, this is one of those rewards you got, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have it written down somewhere. Because I think I took the same thing. I just need to... All right, I'll look it up. Savage... Uh... Ooh, I have it. Okay. Once per turn, when you roll damage for our, a melee weapon attack, you can re-roll the weapon damage dice and use oh, either yeah, total. Oh, yeah, that's a feat. Yeah, and use either total. So this is a pill that you got for saving um, Arnaldio. I do believe. Back in the day when he was imprisoned yeah. in Miletus. Well, I'm assuming that would be a, a bonus action, which I already did. To so. take it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I'll still let you um, take, put your shield up, too. All right. Uh, I guess I'll attack the one next to me. Okay. Uh, with my battle axe. Um, recklessly attack. Okay. So that gives me an advantage, correct? Yep. Yes. 26. That hits. Uh, 17. 17 damage. Yeah, good hit. All right, I'm going to do it again. Reckless attack. Okay. 22 hits. And 11. Nice. You're carving her up pretty good. She's scary looking. Right, that's my turn. All right, Theodora, you are feeling pretty rough, I imagine. Uh, yeah, pretty bad. Although that other thing helped a little. I am going to. I guess I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to polymorph. <laughs> what do you turn? Dinosaur into? time. Dinosaur. <laughs> I think that's all I can do. Do I have any potions? Nope. No potions. Uh. <laughs> okay. That was it. That's my turn. All right. Ezrin. Yes, so I will my uh Dr. Calamario, Mr. Clickety Clack. I'll do Calamario first, comes up. Okay. Flanks her. Okay. <clears throat> and then he will attack. Eighteen. Mm, Eighteen just hits, yeah. Yes. Eight horse. Uh is this from Calamario, okay. And we said that he was magical, right? Um or yeah. no. Yeah. I, I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, it's magical damage. He's a magical creature, sort of. And then through him will it will uh, do arcane jolt for an extra boost of energy. Nice. So Ooh. ten force. Nice. Okay. And then Mr. Clickety Clack will come up. And oop, he doesn't want to be on her. And he will attack. 27 hits. Whoa. So five. Hits. Okay. <laughs> wow. And then I will shoot her with my crossbow. Okay. Oh. oh <laughs> yeah, she's going to get an opportunity to attack. I need to do a oh, dex. I have advantage. You do. You do I have advantage. Do. I'll roll another one. Goodness. Yeah, if I roll another one. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, you almost bust your crossbow, but you managed to fubble it and shoot high, and it goes off over the edge. Wow, that was close. Okay, second attack. Uh huh. 28. Much 20, better. 28 hits. And I don't think you actually get advantage when you're doing a range weapon. But 25 hits. 
<laughs> Which we'll just we'll just go with it so you don't get the I net can one. Do, I can change it to um I have a different one if you want me to do that. No, My it's great fine. axe is magical. No, it's fine. No, I took the twelve off. Do you want to do anything else? Oh, but I got a seven two with that. I should have used that. Alright, fine, up. we'll do that. Alright. You get five more. <laughs> Alright. Um Um yes, I want to do my piety. Okay. I say Karan, this is for Karanos. Yeah, and it's like one, a little like one lightning. Just, like, beep, one lightning. just a little tiny one. You get the spark. Karanos is, really isn't in this fight. No. It's like, wait, where are you? Yeah, it's like, I don't go uh, there. Yeah, you're breaking up a lot, Ezra. <laughs> exactly. You rub your feet on the ground and just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. She's like, oh, you shocked me, you bitch. <laughs> Static electricity. <laughs> it's more psychic damage at this point. <laughs> yeah. All right, do you Numinos? Uh, I have no idea. You're looking right at this Queen Valkyrie. Is that what they are? Valkyries? They... Yeah. You don't it's know that because it's not part of your area. culture to know it, but yep, that's what they are. Um Hmm. Yeah. Um, All right. Um, I guess I'll do a vitriolic sphere. Okay. Oh wait. Um, what is twenty feet? It's basically acid fireball. Yeah, I know, but I wish I could. I need to fight this thing in particular. Um, hmm. Actually, uh, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to do a blight. Blight's always a good one. Yeah. So he said light. <laughs> yeah, I cast light. It's light. Cast cast light. Oh no, I see my doom. So they have to do a constitution saving throw? You must blight it. Yeah, you got to so do a con. Do. Con save, right? Uh, yes. It is, yes. All right, no they're needs help. absolutely going to save this one, but we'll just uh, do the numbers. Work. That's going to be uh, 25. I presume that. Sure that saves. Yeah. Well, the cool thing is if they carry us, they have to carry us to the afterlife, so. Well, well you, 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 know, you know none of this. Well, I, I asked her if she was like a soul carrier. Which is what a Valkyrie is. Yeah, but you don't you don't know what it is. I had a pretty decent religious check. I might have an idea. Mm, nope. All right. So are you gonna do this damage or what? <laughs> yeah. It's not a religion that Jesus exists in this Christ, world. The word so she succeeded. So, yeah, that sucks. So that's an eleven. Yeah. That's I'm gonna roll again just to see if it actually does anything. No. No. no that sucks. I mean, a little better, but. Yeah, marginally. Okay. That's that's rough. Roll twenty. Oof. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm going to back up because I'm not really engaged with her. Uh, well, I mean, we'll say she's like, you guys are engaged. She should be know, just... got me with their wings and pulled them back, right? I mean, you guys were like right up on them. So I'm going to say like you guys were all within five feet of these creatures. All right, I'll take the fucking damage. I don't care. Okay. Um, yeah, um, yeah I've been listening to so much Pathfinder... And I'm like, oh, just do a five foot step. Oh, that doesn't, that, they don't do that in this game. So that's going to be a 28 to hit. And that's, Jump in D &D. Um, yeah, sure hit. So she's going to do 17. Okay. That's not bad. No, sure is not. And it's a lot better to get away from it. Exactly. As you run and hide, Rexenor, what are you doing? You're, you're flanked. Yeah, I'm having a rough time in this spot. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is get the fuck out of that spot uh, by casting Misty Step as a bonus action. Uh, and that moves me 30 feet, which is about here. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to stand up. And uh, so I've got a couple options here. Uh, I, If you will allow me, I can cast two level spells this turn. If not, I'm going to take a fucking potion. <laughs> oh, I'll give it to you. All right. I'm going to cast Fire Shield. Uh, and I'm going to do a warm shield. I'll throw that in the chat. 
Uh, flames read my body uh, for 10 minutes. Uh, I'm casting a warm shield, uh, so it grants me resistance to cold damage. Uh, and whenever a creature within five feet of me hits me with a melee attack, the shield erupts a flame and it takes 2d8 damage. Oh, nice. Um, yes. And uh, then I will, uh, as a free action, say, we have come on behalf of the people of Satessa, who call and we call upon you to fulfill your oath. And then I'm going to back up another 15 feet. <laughs> Fair enough. Crazy. Lucky. Okay. I'm going to cast uh, Mass Cure Wounds on up to six Ooh. creatures. Oh, nice. Ooh, yo. <laughs> so uh, let's start with that. <laughs> Because I need it. Uh, 25 healing. Is so everyone with that or just? That's for everybody. Except just oh, 30 foot radius sphere. So I think you can get everybody. Oh. I'm gonna... No, not quite. Hey, you can get. I'm me. not hurt. I'm so not I... hurt either. I am. Yeah, you want to go to these guys over here. I'm going to try to hit me, Rex, Snor, and Tari. I'm definitely in range, so I'm taking so, every I can choose a point. Here. I can choose a point anywhere, any point, and do 30 feet. So, so us three. Ezrin, are you okay? I'm good. Okay. So, we'll do the us three. Tari, Thank you. me, and Rex. 25. Crucifix, bless you, Lucky. When I got out of this dinosaur, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, okay. if I had a gold piece. And then I'm still pretty low on hit points, so I'm gonna use a bonus action to, to cast another healing spell, spell on myself. Okay, you do uh, that. It's a healing word. Another six. Nice. Okay. All right. Because of that stupid cloud giant. I got so much damage back then, too. Well, I mean, you healed up from the cloud giant. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't heal myself up from that. Okay. So, yeah, you only took that one damage. Oh, so I, I can basically almost give myself another 18 hit points. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it, it's been another couple days since then. Took you a while to get here. I'm keeping my fucking fourth level spell slot then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're good. You're good. Yep. Okay. I've got two left. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Brother. That's okay, good. so that is that your turn, turn, Lucky? That is it. Next up is uh, the Valkyries, and this main one is going to run up and flank Ezrin. Ow. I know, right? And she's going to attack you now with advantage. And man, I am rolling for Shiza. 18, that misses. That misses. It's seven against six, so that's not really fair. All Just right, saying. so 26 hits. 26 hits. Also, we've got Clickety Clack and Dr. Calamario, so let's not bring math into this too heavy. Oh, no. <laughs> they don't count. <laughs> Okay, they count to me. No. Well, they're one person. They're part of one person. Yes. Okay, yeah, so that's gonna be. They count, but they do matter. That's gonna be fourteen what? damage for that one. Ow! What kind of damage? Uh, fourteen piercing. Piercing. And the last one, um, uh, twenty-four hits. Um, yeah, I won't cast shield. All right, that's going to be another nine. Oof, damn, that sucked. Uh, nine piercing damage, and you are prone. Aww. Were you prone last time? Who was prone? I was, I was, I was prone. You stepped and stood up. That's what right. What does it mean when you're prone? You uh, it takes half damage to get up. Or half, half movement. movement. Half movement, whatever. I'm busy. All right, so the okay. next one next to Ezra is going to attack you uh, just straight up, and... Oh, wait, there's another one next to me. That's right. Ooh, can I have cast shield? I forgot about the other one. Yeah. Does 22 hit with shield? Um, No. No. And the other one, yeah, so the other one wouldn't have hit. The other one wouldn't have hit? 
the the second one wouldn't have hit. Okay, and that third one hits. And then she is going to use her... She pulls up her wings and covers mm-hmm. herself so that, she, like, these, like, me- metallic wings cover her body um, for her last action. Uh, these other ones down there, let's start with her. Who's she going to attack? Uh, what did she get? Uh, does she have enough movement? What's their movement? Let me see. I don't think she has enough movement to get there. Nope. Let's just roll. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry. All right. She's going to go and flanks the dinosaur. <laughs> Not the dinosaur. I know, right? And gets advantage on you. Oof, Man, I don't think I've broken 10 in any of these actual <laughs> hits. That's 21. Does that hit the dinosaur? Oh, yeah. It's got an AC of 13. Okay. So that's going to be 16. Attack you for a second time. Oh, there's a good one. Uh, That's going to be a 30. Okay, so the first would be... I have Warcaster to maintain concentration. Okay. That's a good idea. But I don't have good concentration. Great. Okay, so... um, Uh, Rex will throw you a 15. I might need it on that second one. Yeah, so the second one hits you with a dirty 20 and hits you... Or, sorry... No, so a what 30. Was hit you for a th- um, with a 30 and 16 damage. 30, 30 damage? 16 uh, damage. 32 total. 16 damage. 16 damage? Okay. Well, I will roll my con. 13 or 20. That's, does it, I think. Well, if you're going to do that, the- keep it my port. And- what was the second hit? Uh, so one hit was 16. Actually, they both were 16. Okay. Uh, then I'll just do it again. 19, yeah. Okay. And then that's third hit against you. It's going to be 22 to hit. I hit. Uh, 12 damage. No. Whoa, that didn't work. Was that? No. Okay. Let me try that again. 43 damage. Okay. Roll. <laughs> Holy shit. 2d8. 15. And supposedly, as a dinosaur, you are knocked prone. I am huge. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to say it doesn't knock you prone. That seems... I should be. I should actually be another bit bigger. Yeah. Oh, you are huge. Yeah, I'm not huge. Large. Huge creature. It's like half the screen. <laughs> no, it's just three by three. So that was 20, 15 damage? 12 damage. 12 damage. Yep. Okay. It's my third of my hit points. All right. This third one or fourth one now is going to go up and flank Ezrin again. Ah. I know. Okay. Sorry, Ezrin. I have to get a 26, so bring it on. Uh, that's 22. Yes. Um, man, shit, man. It's a 21. <laughs> I laugh at you. Well, that's gonna and thirty two. Well, thirty two hits. I guess I shouldn't have laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I I'm off. <laughs> and that's gonna be twenty damage. Oh, oh ouch! Twenty piercing. Yeah. Okay. All right. This other one on Rexenor is going to attack you. You know, and I'm not going to give her advantage because you are huge. Well, no, because they're large too, or they're big, whatever. It's a nat 20. Uh oh. It's a nat hats. So this will be. Oh, hold on. I don't That's think I can keep concentration then. 34 damage. 34? Yeah. What's the check? Half uh, DC 17 is what it would be. So. That's unlikely to happen. If you gave me the 15 portent, do uh, I add... I can toss you that 15. Can I have it? Because that yeah. would make it 19. Yeah. Yeah, I'll... Oh, okay. Uh, what was that? 30... 32? 34. 34. Dang. 
Okay, 78 damage I took. Dang. Jeesh. 34 was doubled. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it was 68? Right. No, 30, uh, 34 for the first hit. So it, like, doubled already. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's going to go again. Roll it one more time, dude. That was clearly a 17, but it didn't. It just said it was a six, but whatever. Uh, 27 hits. Yeah. And that's going to be 17 damage. Yeah, I got a con save. Okay. okay. 17 more. Gosh, I'm almost out of dinosaur. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, they don't. They're not fucking around. No, and last one's 29. Well, it's going to hit two. One sec. Um, 78 plus... What was the damage? Uh, what was the damage from the last one? 17. No, no, no. no. Um, the last one, last damage was 17. Lots of 17s. Okay, okay, I've taken 95. So what's the damage from this one? This last one is going to be another 14 damage. I made the con save each time, at least. No more caster. All right. The one on Tari. Tari, does it get advantage on you? You're not recklessly attacking, are you? Uh, she yeah. Has one, so, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's unfortunate. I took 109 damage. Jeez. <laughs> All right, Tari, this is going to attack you and hits you for, or, uh, for 29 to hit. Yeah, that hits. All right, that's going to be 21. Be 10. Uh, 10, yep. So 10. Yep. The next attack is a nat freaking 20. Sweet. So this will just be straight up, and this will be 16. <laughs> and the last... So we, we really shouldn't have split up at the beginning. That was the worst <laughs> possible thing we could have done. I know. Who decided that we should do that? <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't. All right, twenty-five hits as well, right? Yep. All right, and this is gonna be thirteen, and you are prone. Thirteen. Yeah, be six. Yep, and you are prone. All right. So six. Jeez, they got a lot of turns. Lucky. We have a lot of. We haven't even scratched any of them, really. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, it does not get advantage, so that would just be uh, 18. Does that hit? No. No. Okay, next one. I dodge it. Well, kind of. Uh, 22, does that hit? Yes, it does. Yes, finally. That's going to be 16 damage. Oh, that's not too bad. And the last one I shouldn't say anything. is a dirty 20. Does that hit? No. No. Okay, so just one hit. Okay. okay, updating my character sheet. Okay. <laughs> I'm still in the game. I'm still in the game. So with that, um, the one that's behind Ezra and this that was in the center looks over at you, Rexnor, who was talking to it before, and says, and and Dionos and says, "You all are outclassed, usurpers. Do you wish to continue this charade?" Why did you? I couldn't hear the first part. You are outclassed. Uh, only had one turn. I think give it another turn. I've been kicked out of better temples than this. I thought you said it wasn't um, a real temple. We're willing to negotiate. Yeah. What do you have in mind? I hear Definitely. you willing to negotiate, and your friends. Your I other... think they can be convinced, but we need to know what the terms are. Your unconditional surrender. Nope. 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 We had a saying in Miletus, which is look at these birds. Man, we should have hired we should have hired those cloud giants. <laughs> Tari, you're up next. <laughs> Alright. I guess I'm uh, recklessly attacking the guy that's on next on me. Yeah, you have the spooky looking one. Yeah. 
Okay. With my battle axe. I'm still raging, correct? Yeah. Uh, 25 hits. Hers is like a ghost. <laughs> I'll hit it again. Oof. Uh, hold on. So that's 15, and then uh, 17 does miss. I know. That sucks. Womp womp. Um, right. I have a bonus action. Can I take a he healing potion? Absolutely. I'll do a lesser healing. Okay. Um, and I always forget what it. How many? How many d4s? Two, two d4 plus two. Okay. Yep. All right. Theodorus Rex. All right, here we go. I get one chance to bite these damn things. <laughs> one chance. All right, I'll bite the one that was over there originally, I guess. I'll bite it. The one that you're looking uh, at, okay. So it's a plus 10 to hit. Please don't be terrible. <laughs> Pearl 20. Or miss. That was a I'm now remembering how bad the dinosaur was the last time. Yeah, it's a 14. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so then I get my other attack as a tail swipe, which I will hit the one behind me. You can't attack the same target. 20 to hit? Uh, which one? The same one? No, I can't hit the same one twice. Okay. So bite the one that was there originally and swipe the one that came up behind me. Yeah, 20 hits. All right, 3d8 plus 7. Let's have a go here. Wow. So 21 damage. Nice. Uh, you hit her and she goes, <laughs> This is fun, creature. Uh, hmm. I might as well. There's nothing I can do. I mean, I can't move now. Okay. I guess that's it. All right, Ezrin. Uh, I am so surrounded. So Dr. Calamario is going to attack because that's what he does. Mm -hmm. And 19. Um, and you, Dr. Calamario, bats against these wings and misses. Oh, 19 misses? Uh, she has her wings up protecting her. Oh, that's right. Jeez. Um, and clickety clack can't disengage, right? No, she'll poke out a dagger through her wings and stab at you. Okay. Can't disengage? Well, I guess. I mean, he can disengage, but can't like. Oh, yeah, he wants to disengage and fly away. Can he? Does he have a disengage action, like a uh, ability? Uh... You can do an action, right? Yeah, he can do an action. It's just he has attacks and stuff. Yeah, so he'll get an attack of opportunity. Oh. So he can't disengage? I mean, if he has that ability. Doesn't everyone have the ability to disengage? As an action, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. His oh, action. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yes. his action's to disengage, Sorry. and then okay. he'll, his movement is to go away. Gotcha. Okay. Die. Where is he moving to? Um, I was just trying to the country to eat a lot of peaches. Mm. Yeah. He's gonna go over by like Rex and Dianumus. Maybe out. stay in front of Rex. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a, a little a little neighborhood we'd like to call Pussy Row. <laughs> <laughs> and Dean Ezrin. Oh my gosh, has so many people. <laughs> yeah. Um Honestly, this oh. is why I've never played an art officer. <laughs> do you want do you want a really fun uh piece of knowledge what's that no uh, i may be mixing it up with uh pathfinder you can actually only disengage from one creature well there's he, there's only one there he was on the back side of the yeah. one no i mean if you wanted to run away. oh yeah i i don't think i can run away no okay no. in five sorry that's just pathfinder in 5e you can disengage from all I was figuring I couldn't disengage from them. Is that correct? I mean, I guess. What do you want to do, though? I'm sorry. I'm, like, super surrounded. What do I want to do? Yeah, I I honestly don't think there's anything we can do now. Oh. 
We flubbed the first round. I am going to cast. Um, sorry. I'm going to cast Sanctuary on myself. Not okay. a bad choice. <laughs> and then with my next attack, I will attack one that doesn't have wings up. One of them doesn't have wings up, right? Uh, the if two you attack, your spell ends. Oh, if I attack, it ends? <laughs> yep. Then I'll attack first. Yeah. And then do think. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the ones, the two on the bottom are not shielded. Okay. Is there one that looks more hurt than the other? Um. Yeah, the main one on the left. That was supposed to be a normal one. So, 20. 20 hits. So, 8 slashing. Okay. And then I'm going to use another Arcane Jolt and heal myself up 5. That wasn't much. And then um, I'll go ahead and use my Piety to do a little bit of lightning damage. So, 5 lightning. Okay. And then I cast Sanctuary on myself. Nice. Oh, Solid. and I have my Cloak of Stars on. So you're just getting super beefy. Okay. <laughs> Dean Numinos. Hmm. Uh, okay, as a really quick ritual, I'm going to cast Rary's Telepathic Bond. So we can all communicate freely. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Uh, I'm going to say, I'd like to hear the terms out of these creatures. They were unconditional surrender. I know, but that doesn't tell me, tell us if, what they want. If they are anything like the culture that they came from, they will, I mean, I'm a dinosaur right now, so you're probably hearing, rah, 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 rah. No, it, <laughs> they will not accept it. weakness in any form. Like we were not, we were going to be killed by those vi Vikings until we helped them kill spiders are these things looking at all bloody or whatnot mm, nope not what yet. about the one next to tari nope i think they might be a little bit beyond our level right now but it feels like we have to figure out a negotiation or something yeah that's why i'm that's what i would mm. like to do but unconditional surrender is not the answer either. It needs to be a balance. And I do agree we need to not show weakness in this situation. Well, I think they're only going to listen to us if we prove our worth. The only way to do that is to punch them right in their fucking mouths. Yes, prison rules. <laughs> the Vulcan hello. And they'll step on us like a bug. <laughs> hey, you've got plenty of health. <laughs> Yes. All right, I just speak to them and I say, all right, what are, what does unconditional surrender mean to you? It means that you put down your weapons and grovel. And then? And then we will discuss. Hmm. Could we have a parlay instead of... You will have, we will have your unconditional surrender. I don't know. I give up. Do you surrender then? Uh, um, I don't see the point in extending this, but I can't speak for my friends. And he doesn't. <laughs> and fireball to the face. Fireball would be pretty helpful. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know Minos? Anything you want to do? Boom. I get. Does the ritual count as an action? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, no, I just move away more. Kind of hide behind a little boulder there. Yeah, I go and hide. All right, Rexenor, you're up. All right, so I am marking things off. I'm going to use the biggest, baddest spell in my arsenal. 
which is a 60 foot wall of light, which will connect this Valkyrie and this one. Uh, they're exactly 60 feet apart if I center it on them. Where? Which one? Uh, the one down here by Theodore and the oh. one here by Ezrin. Okay. 60 foot wall of light. Okay. Uh, and they are going to need to make constitution saving throws. All right, hold on. Me. Wall of light. Let me just get the wall of light here. Okay. And they need to make... What? DC 18 Constitution saving throw. Oh, goody. All right, the one on the top's going to go first. Oh, yeah. I mean, she got real good. So she got 19 at base. Oh, well, that sucks. She'll take uh, 11 radiant damage then. All right, the other one got nat 1. So I'll do uh, double damage. She's going to take 46. Oh, dang. Solid hit. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> and I will work on uh, maintaining that on concentration. All right. Yeah. In a swarm, wow, that's cool. in a swarm of Miller moths, <laughs> come oh, and die instantly. Of <laughs> the moths come. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, uh, yeah. I I will take a a lesser healing potion. Uh. Potions would have been great. It's a shame that all the shops were sold out and we had no I have some. Uh, I'm guys, back up to full health. I so. mean, you, you oh guys have God. been offered free healing potions every time you talk to, like, friendly people. <laughs> all right. Uh, Lucky Lala, you're last up. Okay, so is this Valkyrie that I'm standing next to, does she have a weapon in her hands? Uh, she does. She has a scythe. Is it metallic in nature? Um, I would say it is metallic in nature. <laughs> I'm going to try this spell. It's called Heat Metal. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it does 2d8 fire damage, but she also has to do a constitution save throw, and if she doesn't save, she, she drops the weapon. Okay. Nice. And isn't the damage on their turn? Actually, it's it's instant and then also and then on, on every turn. turn. Yeah. Okay. So, it's, yeah. It's, so this is I'm gonna pass it at like third level spell or something. Yeah. Okay. Third level. And she got nineteen. Okay. That's ah. So she saves. So, so what happens is um she has disadvantage now, on all her attacks. Okay. If she doesn't drop it, then she gets disadvantage. And fourteen. Damage? Yes. Well, she, she did. I think it's half damage. So oh, yeah. Ooh, you can use a bonus action to cause the damage again on your turn. Yeah. Yep. So on her, when she casts me. Yep. Cool. You get three more for the higher level. Oh, yeah. Oh, did it add it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, above the uh, damage box down there. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, and with that, uh, th next up are the Valkyries, yeah. and the main one looks around at the other Valkyries and says, Sisters, I'm getting, getting tired of our little game here. Let's end this. Uh-oh. <laughs> and that's where we'll start off next time. Oh, oh man. Woo. <laughs> we're toast. Oh. No, we're not. We've no, still we're not. no one is down. Like hey, well, I'm back. I'm back at full hit points now, thanks to your mask your wounds. Yeah, but what I'm not, but I'm not doing well. Didn't sound very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna die. How much <laughs> car are you doing against that one? What's that? How much did Tari do against the one in the on the left? Not very much. No. You hit it like three or four times. 
Yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty good still. I hit that one down by you for 46. That's pretty decent. I think they'd be more susceptible to something like necrotic damage. I don't think so. No. Nothing is nothing is susceptible to anything in fifth edition. <laughs> it really isn't. It's only yeah. it might be immune to something, but there are a couple susceptibilities, but not many. That was fun. Did we learn <laughs> did we learn anything in Satessa about like the creatures? Aren't they supposed to help us, not like attack us? Hey, I went full Aragon and called them to fulfill their oath, and uh, this is how they responded to that. So. <laughs> no, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure they're like the Vikings. We just gotta prove that we're strong enough for their help. The uh, what was? Uh, let me give me a second here. Uh, the inscription was uh, only the worthy shall proceed; the rest shall fall. Yeah, in my book, so the worthy don't surrender. We need to, we really, really need to regroup and attack one. How do we all get back together? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. I'm like, oh, I should just make a dash. I, I'm i not T-Rexing much longer. Yeah. But then I'm like, oh, if they hit me once, then I don't know how much they're going to do. They are taking out Ezrin, I tell you what. <laughs> Well, yeah, you got three on you. Yeah, I'm like half down. I guess I'm half down. I'm bloody no. But it doesn't I, feel like I have very much health left. <laughs> uh, Calamario can uh, give one disadvantage on an attack. Um, yes. So the one with the wings up, if she tries to attack me, would have disadvantage. Plus, I'm wearing my cloak of stars. So. Do bards get shield? I wish I had that. <laughs> At a high enough level, you can take it. Yeah, I'm never going to be that high enough. I won't. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to hop off here. See you hey, soon. see you guys. This is fun. Uh, see you. I won't be here next week, guys. I, I don't know. know what to do about that. No. Yeah, we don't, we can't win then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have to play uh, you or someone else. Yeah, you can play, play my character. Yeah, because yeah, another night if it were. Oh, for you. this would well, be. Juice. This would be the absolute perfect time for Cat Lady to show up. <laughs> Just saying. She, she's the bard that's following you. If you want to do it Wednesday the 7th, everybody's free, then I can do the 7th. But um, Thursday's not a go. Yeah, that's right. I don't, I don't know if everybody's willing to. Oh, can, can you guys do the 7th? We might still be in this fight in, in two weeks. So. Just uh, I, I think the 7th would work. I mean, we can do the 7th. All right, I gotta go. Bye. Not me, but okay, I'm not well, really we'll talking about anymore, it. So yeah. you well, doesn't matter. We'll text one. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, with that, uh, thank you, Apostle. Oh my gosh. Um yeah, you plan after you fight. That's exactly what they're doing. Um, okay, so let me just show this. I don't know who created this, but um core uh artificer here created this here let me move it over there we go and it's from the valkyries from uh uh oh, what the hell is it god of war right and so i've been using like their their standard stat block but then they have all like each one has their own special thing that they can do and so like staff of light and drag and a dive and whatever the cack ram is chak ram uh which is 5d6 like and all these over on the side here like this is gonna be awesome and yeah so we'll see we'll see next week all right my friend uh have a great night we'll talk to you later and i'll be the same yeah, see you guys.